Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are on episodes 33 and 34 of my Amphibia Reaction series. These episodes are called Cursed, or Cursed, perhaps? And fiddle me this, and let's get watching. Here you go, dearie. Get you later, Mrs. Croker. Oh, they'll never catch me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Maddie. Happy market day. Hey, where's Maddie? Oh. oh. <laughs> Classic creepy Maddie. If you don't want to be engaged anymore, just go break it off. Break up with her? Terrible idea. Spread against the world. <laughs> oh. 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 Right. oh. Me. Oops. Sorry about that, Barry. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there, Barry. Shucks, kids! Don't worry about it! Nothing gets Barry down. <gasps> Candy no. magic! No way. <laughs> or maybe breaking up by text would be better. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Wasn't so bad. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> I'm already obsessed with this episode, you guys. Huh? <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> Something ain't right here. Sprig, what happened to your <gasps> face? Whoa, what happened to your voice? It's not just my voice, dude. When I woke up, these things started growing out of me. And whenever I no. try to talk, I just... I hate that. <laughs> what <gasps> is going on? If the shoe fits, and This land of ours is home to many arts, Anne. A sculpture, mosaics, and, of course, the dark arts. <laughs> First? <laughs> but, but how? When? <laughs> wow, I loved that so much. <laughs> oh, oh, she's Anna, not a chicken. Are you okay? She's... You know, it's actually not that bad. Something Watch this! Entirely. <laughs> Got Mr. Planter's bread order here. Ah! She's here! <gasps> Someone hide me. As much as I would have preferred an actual conversation, I was fine with what you wrote. Oh, thank goodness. Told ya. Breakup co ween. Is it ah! Barry the cursed them? Curses can only be lifted by the caster, and this isn't my curse. <gasps> what? But if it wasn't you... Oh, Barry's mad about the berries. Wow, and also Maddie was insanely cool about that. They both were being such cowards, and she took it so well. I'll have you know, I learned magic to help people, not hurt them. Sheesh, appearances aren't everything, Sprig. Yeah, well, that's... That's a really good point. Oh, oh. Hello, children. <gasps> Barry? The Willy Wonka vibes, though. Surely you remember barging into me at the market yesterday? <laughs> Filling my entire stock of blue moon berries that only grow once every ten years? Oh. This abuse of magic offends me. <gasps> oh, goodness. You should never get them, Matt. They really deserve it. I love the green and purple smoke and sparkles. This scene is animated really well. Gotcha! Whoa! Okay. And that's how you fix a door. You can't just leave me like this! Uh, come on, Maddie. We did him wrong. Uh, fine, I'll change him back. <laughs> She's annoyed. Ah! Goodbye, Kurt. I'm not sure if all this was a blessing or a curse. Ah! It was literally a curse, Anne. <laughs> well, Maddie absolutely read me for filth because 
I was right there with Sprigadan thinking her creepy nature meant that she was up to no good, but she's just a little witchy and we love a witch. It was also cool seeing her go head to head with Barry and the way that their little sacks of magic had different colors of smoke and sparkles and the way that the sequence was animated physically, I thought was very cool too. It was a fun little fight sequence and it was cool to get to see that side of Maddie as well. We already knew she was a a little spooky, but a frog has got moves. And can I just say, Maddie might be the chillest frog of all time. She was so nice about that entire breakup with Anne just paper airplaning over a note instead of Sprig being the one to go over and talk to her. Sprig and Anne definitely got off easy when it came to that, so even though Barry was very creepy and no one should be cursed, they kind of had a lesson to learn anyway. And if it wasn't gonna be Maddie teaching it to them, I guess it needed to be the creepy clown Barry salesman. <laughs> oh my gosh, my favorite part of this episode though was Probably, definitely, actually, whenever Hot Pop was saying something, I forget what other things he listed, but then he said, and the dark arts, and it was such a scary close up of him, and the way he read that line was perfection. I was cracking up at that. I thought that was so funny. Let me know your favorite part of this episode in the comments down below. And now let's get watching Fiddle Me This. I don't know, looks a little snug. Nonsense. Oh, 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 oh! oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ascots aren't as popular as they used to be. Yeah, vegetables aren't doing so hot either. People these days are all about fruit. That's life, I suppose. <laughs> sure wish I could give Sprig and Polly a better future. Oh. Huh? Now, what's over there? More ascots? Woohoo! Oh. Amphibia's got talents coming to Wartwood! Sprig should sing! Could be fun to play my fiddle in front of a crowd. Oh, yeah! You need to do some the fiddle. Eh? I don't know, Sprig. One thing's for so sure. Talented. Winning this kind of thing sets you up for a life of success and opportunity. 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 Oh, oh, fiddle mana. Ding, dang, delightful. <laughs> At last, I can rest forever. Wait, oh if this God. is the future, why don't I have legs? Why am I still here? I don't know, but at least you have two shoes. Here's a little ditty I wrote by myself. <gasps> oh. Aren't we taking this all just a little too seriously? Sprig, success <laughs> takes work. It takes dedication, sacrifice. You don't want to end up like that guy, do you? No job, no prospects, <laughs> no future. <laughs> Just look at him, Sprig. Oh my God. Is this all <laughs> I mean, I just want to have fun up there. Fun? Can you eat fun? Can you make a fun deposit into your fun savings? Is fun a beautiful mansion with a front gate shaped like a giant fiddle? Welcome to Amphibia's Got Talent! <laughs> hey! Shoot! Go away! Shoot! Oh! oh. oh. oh they look so beautiful and bored. Sprig Plantar. Sprig? Plantar. Performing <laughs> Flight of the Moth. Dazzling, baby. Okay, costume. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's so good! Infection. <laughs> Everything I could have hoped for! Love your hair, by the way. Hang on, Polly. <laughs> She's like, thanks. Yours has sticks in it. <laughs> Polly, now's your time to you shine. You can still pull this off hey! like part of the arc. <gasps> oh yeah. Hate <gasps> 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 that. <laughs> I love when this show gives anime vibes. 
Grandson, are you okay? Grandson, oh, I shouldn't have forced you into this. I just wanted to give you a better life than the one I can give you now. Hop, hop. My life is perfect the way it is. And as long as you're in it, my future will be pretty cool, too. <laughs> Absolutely mesmerizing performances. I'm quaking with emotion. <laughs> and how did you ever quaking. do that? <laughs> or this thing, for that matter. Hey, we <laughs> hereby declare this family the winning act of Wartwood's Got Talent. Wow, okay. Do they win anything for that? Let's... Yes, and share your vision with the rest of the band. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need them in more episodes. Y'all know I love when Amphibia gets sentimental. That last scene between Sprig and Hop Hop was so sweet. And Sprig is absolutely right. Hop Hop has provided such a good life for both him and Polly. You can tell how much he loves them and cares about them. He teaches them responsibility, looks out for them as much as he possibly can, as proven in this episode, even if he did go a little bit overboard. Anyone would be lucky to be a part of the Planter family, honestly. But Oh my goodness, did Sprig put on one heck of a performance? I could have watched 12 minutes of that straight, to be honest with you. <laughs> I was dazzled. <laughs> and I just, I don't know why I didn't see it coming because there was that moment when the lighting frog was setting up the lights for the performance that the bat came over and ate one of the mobs. I just, I didn't expect that at all. Oh, and it was at such a pivotal moment during his performance too that I was just so engaged in watching Sprig that never in a million years did I expect that bat to swoop across the stage and grab him. I also thought the judges were so funny in this episode as well. And bringing the sensation of a talent show to Wartwood kind of brought this fresh energy to this episode that I really liked. Seeing that there are frogs that are also Fabulous. I don't know what this is. Is this fabulous? This? What? What did I mean to do there? As always, my fellow dweebs, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full length reactions, early release to my videos, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.